Hello everyone, this is Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Raven Queen from Ever After High, and I'm making her to look like Lilu from the movie The Fifth Element. So I rooted this doll with some copper orange colored mohair or alpaca yarn, and I gave her a little Lilu cut, and I used some gel to style it out. And then here, and then I covered up the hair with a turban and then I'm going in with the face up. So today's video will just be a face up. I've had some requests to show some more of the process. I didn't notice that my full process videos were doing any better than just the face up videos so I've just been doing some face ups but if you guys want to see the full process I'll work on doing some of those. So after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear and going in on the eyes I have used a crimson red and terracotta to do the the uh, water line and tear ducts and I'm using a, a terracotta that I used a mix of burnt sienna and peach uh, pan pastel mixture to do the lips to give her more of a natural look and then I'm using the terracotta Derwent watercolor pencil so if I want the lips to be more natural looking I usually use a terracotta if it's a redhead, if I if it, um, the terracotta tends to pull out that redhead coloring, and if it's a, if I'm doing like a, a a doll with like more brown color hair, then I'll change it up and maybe do a pink, like a light pink. But so here I'm using my shortened round brush to do some shading around the nose and under the eyes and using some pan pastel color, colorless blender to blend that out. The supplies that I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links if you're interested to in making purchases through those links. If you click on those links and make purchases, whether it's what you clicked on or not, uh, affiliate links allow us to get a very small uh, portion of the cost of what you've purchased. So that's a great way to support us if you're interested in supporting my channel. So blending that out with some more colorless blender, I'm also going in on the forehead and the nose to give some dimension there, give her a little bit of a highlight. And then I'm using a little bit of burnt sienna in the eyebrow area, or the eyelid area. So this character is portrayed by Mila Jovovich, so I used some reference photos of Mila's face to uh, get a similar look. giving her some blush. When I do a doll with red hair, I go in on the blush with a little bit more orangey, use a little bit more burnt sienna than I do pink. I'm giving her some highlight in the bottom lip and blending that out. Just tried to go in with a, a face shape that was similar to Mila Jovovich's with a, a larger bottom lip. I know my dolls don't look exactly like the character, but I do try to pull out some of their features to make it uh, a little bit more obvious that that's who the character is that I'm working on. So for the hair, I rooted it with some copper orange uh, alpaca yarn. And then I don't show this in the video, but I do go uh, using a little bit of hair gel, give her some like twists and a messy look like the character and give her sort of a choppy cut and bangs. For her costume, I had this sort of a gold fabric that I made the pants and little, uh, it has some uh, cording detail and then the a little, I used uh, some sort of uh, sheer white fabric to make a little t-shirt and then the belting that she has the character I used some orange vinyl that I had in stock I'm doing the eyebrows and giving her sort of a surprised expression at the time I'm 
uh, doing the voiceover for this video. This doll is still available in the shop. And the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. I feel like after I've been doing this for probably about six or seven years and I'm finally feeling confident with my eyebrows. It took me a very long time to kind of feel good about the eyebrows. They were, they're so hard to do and keep them even and in the same shape. So I'm, I feel like I've finally leveled up a little bit there. I left her lips matte in the end and just glossed over the eyes. And here I'm trying to work on making sure the eyes are symmetrical. Outlining them with a, a sort of uh, kingfisher blue maybe. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue, and then I'm going in and blending it out with a very light powder blue. Adding a little bit of a highlight in the eye with yellow, and then blending that out with a white. And for this one, I used mainly Derwent watercolor pencils. Like I said, the description box below contains the uh, affiliate links to the supplies I use. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Just doing a little bit more detail work to the eyes, then I'll add the pupils, and then I'll finish her off with about four or five coats of Mr. Super Clear UV Flat Cut, or UV Cut Flat. <laughs> and then I add the Liquitex High Gloss Varnish to the eyes. And some eyelashes. Gave her some very light, short eyelashes just to keep her a little bit more natural looking. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, check out the Etsy link below where this doll is still available at the time I'm making this video. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.